You are now in for a treat. Ahead of his appearance at the Racine Symphony Orchestra's Masterwork season finale, joining us in studio, the winner of the Young Artist Competition, 17-year-old Matthew Udry from Kenosha Tremper High School, performing box prelude number one. Come over to the chair over here. Let's take a look at this information as you make your way over the Masterworks season finale, Saturday, April 8th, 7.30 p.m., Francis Bedford Concert Hall, UW Parkside. And Matt, that was, that was great. Thank you so much for uh, performing that. I really appreciate it. Um, tell me a little bit about, about yourself. Where do you go to school? I am a junior at Tremper High School. In okay, yeah, and how long have you been playing the cello? I've been playing the cello for about seven years, I think. I started in fourth grade. And you were the winner of the Young Artist Competition uh, through the RSO. Tell me a little bit about that experience. It was a lot of fun. Um, it was, th these kinds of competitions are always really nerve wracking mm -hmm. because uh, you're preparing for it for such a long time, practicing the pieces, mm -hmm. and then you go out to compete. And it's always, I always get really nervous because there's always a panel of judges sitting across sure. from you staring at you and you know they're going to be watching your every single move and that that one performance really matters and was that the piece that you performed for the judges that was not i played uh i played the dvorak cello concerto for the judges. why did you choose that piece for for the competition uh i chose that piece because um i think i was looking for pieces to play for uh cello works to work on with my teacher Mm -hmm. And for just a really long time, that had been one of my absolute favorite cello concertos. I mean, it's one, it's one of the greatest cello concertos ever written. Yeah, you know, now at age 17, do you find yourself seeking out more challenging pieces uh, every year? Or, I mean, when you look at your development from age, say, 13 to now, uh, have you grown? Yeah, absolutely. I'm always, um, 
I'm always trying to do harder and harder pieces every year to just keep on trying to push myself technically and as a musician and as a person too. Yeah, and uh, just last question for you. Uh, you're gonna be performing with these adults. Do you, do you find value in, in working with people who you know, are a little bit older than you and have been playing a lot longer than you maybe? Yeah, yeah absolutely, knowing that I mean, I, I'm pretty inexperienced compared to them and I can gather a lot of their wisdom, especially working with mm -hmm. Pasquale, who is just, and has an immense amount of knowledge sure. about everything music. Well, I'm sure that they have a lot to learn from you as well. Thank you so much for coming on the program. Hope Thank a lot you. of people check it out. And one other thing, if I just want to put this out there. If you have an idea for me on Racine and Me, I'd love to hear it. Just send an email to Racine and Me at CBS58.com or connect with me on Twitter at ReporterGLK. One of your ideas could become part of our next show. Thank you for joining us, everyone. Join us next week, same Racine time, same Racine channel for another exciting edition of Racine and Me. Jacob Kittlestad. <laughs>